your business is not growing, this could possibly be it. So I don't know how many times I've heard this always be closing. And every time I hear it, it makes my stomach turn. And I know there's a lot of sales experts that would disagree with me, but at this point in my career, I've sold billions of dollars. So I could tell you a few things. Always be closing gives you that pushy, aggressive, short-term, short-minded buyer or seller dissatisfaction, depending on if you have a dual-sided marketplace or not. That gotta close, gotta close at anything. I'm always going to be pushy and aggressive. Ask yourself as a salesperson, have you ever been sold to and you know you were being sold to where the person was just hyper aggressive and you know, you just did it just to get them off your back. That's what always be closing is about. And because in my profession, I happen to be in real estate. I know a pushy salesperson right away. And I know when I'm being sold, I've been doing this for over 25 years. But before I get into how to be more effective in sales, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that subscribe button and let the algorithm know that this content is worthy. I want you to think of the acronym CARE. Always be caring. So you can still have your ABC because I know people in sales gotta have that ABC, but you don't always have to be closing. You'll get more closings if you care. So let me break down the CARE so you understand. That C stands for coaching. People are coming to you because they wanna be coached. You're gonna coach them through the process. You're gonna consult them. You're a consultant for them, right? Whether they buy your product or not, whether they buy a home from you or not, I'm in that position of trust and of authority. I'm a consultant, I'm a coach, and I also have a commitment. A lot of people think you're the hero or the heroine of the story. And I'm here to tell you, you're not. See, an effective salesperson is the person who has the goal of the client in mind first. Not your goals, not your commission, not how much money you're gonna take home. And I don't wanna sound in any way like, okay, salespeople don't have a goal. You have a goal. You have a monetary goal. You know exactly how much you intend to make in your business, but that shouldn't be the overall factor of why you're doing the business. Your relationship has to be one where you're committed to serve the client. They're the hero of the story. So if you're gonna think about it, you're the best supporting actor or actress so that they can get to their goal. The A stands for, I'm an advisor. I advise my client all the time. I give them advice. I give them direction. You're in a leadership role. That's how you have to look at it. And I'm always there. The other A is to analyze. What do they want? How do I get them there? Let me analyze the situation and come up with strategies to get them there. They're, they're buying a house. They're, they keep getting outbid. I'm gonna analyze the situation and advise them so that I can affirm exactly what their goals are, right? By serving the client, I end up closing the transaction and they feel like they didn't get pushed. They didn't get this aggressive salesperson breathing down their throat that was so short-sighted that I kept pushing them no matter what. The R stands for, I'm a resource. I'm constantly a resource for them, for advice, for direction, for consultation. When they have problems and issues, they're not going to Google, they're coming to me because I've set the stage, right? I'm a resource and ultimately, it's my responsibility. I have true ownership in the process for my client. That's how you gotta look at it. Your mission statement, your motto, the way you look at your business has to be that. I'm not saying be a nonprofit organization, but definitely have the clients back at all times. It's your responsibility. Lastly, the E, expertise, right? I can't be a resource, I can't be a coach, I can't advise them if I don't have expertise. It's not good enough just to get your license or just to have your sales position. You gotta be an expert in the process. You gotta know. If you're selling a car, you gotta know exactly what that car is about. You gotta have learned to drive that car. You gotta know what the horsepower and the speed is. You gotta know the braking distance because people these days are very data driven because they have a lot of data at their disposal. So for me to be an expert, I gotta spend time in my craft. 
I gotta get to know the process. I can't be asked when was this home made and then go refer to my uh, smartphone and then tell the client this was made in 1940. I already have to know. Expertise comes at time under tension, time at task, time perfecting your craft. And the last E I wanna talk to you about is you, ladies and gentlemen, are there to enrich the process. Enrich the process. That means at the end of the transaction, your clients gotta love what you did for them. Are you gonna get 100% happy, satisfied clients all the time? Heck no. But can you get many more than if you were approaching the always be closing BS? Absolutely. You'll have longevity in your business because more people are gonna refer you business so your business becomes more of a referral source over years. If you wanna do the always be closing, your business is not going to be as successful. You don't have a roller coaster dip. Every time you close a transaction because you forced tooth and nail somebody to buy a house or sell a house or buy a widget or buy a t-shirt, it doesn't matter if you're online or offline. You've done that, they've got that one sale, they feel bad about you, they don't like that they got sold to. They're not liking because they feel like you were forcing them and they just did it to appease you. Now they're not gonna refer you to the friends. They're not gonna talk about you at the party. They're not gonna bring up that great realtor, that great salesperson that sold me this car. They're not going to have that feeling about you. So always be caring and not closing. And that's from someone who has sold billions of dollars of real estate at this point. So if you like the content that I just gave you, cause it's coming from here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Let the algorithm know that we're worthy. If you're having trouble getting your sales career started, go ahead and hit this video next.